Oh, wow. We gotta go back up there. No, you can. No, <laughs> both of us do. No. <laughs> Come on, stop being lazy. We gotta go up. Come on. But that's what I said. No, you said that I'm going and you're staying. No, Look I at said this. I'm going. He changes his story. You was wrong, I was right. Didn't take long just to make it for life. No, no, no. I think that I might just fall out now. Yeah, 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 just fall out. You was wrong, I was right. Didn't take long just to make it for life. No, no, no. I think that I might just fall out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So good to have you here. And if you just stumbled upon this video here on YouTube, I'm Renata, I create travel videos here. I hope you like and I hope you stay. We are in Penang, Malaysia, more specifically, Georgetown. And today we're visiting the largest Buddhist temple in the entire country. Just waiting for our grab car to arrive. Oh wow, you be calling on a weekend. I woke up like what's up on the streets and kept the bag in my pocket like a rolly. Yeah, I go slowly, but only when I preach. Well, the car can drop you right here, in front of the temple. I'm really impressed with the size of this temple. It goes all the way up there. Can you see it? This is Kekloksi Temple, the largest Buddhist temple in the entire Malaysia. Shall we make a wish? Let's make a wish. Booming business. <laughs> Let's do all things as wish for. No. This is more powerful. This includes everything. No. Booming business. <laughs> Gordon wants booming business. I want all things as wish for. Especially for Gordon, who asked for booming business. And this is for me. All things as wish for. Put it on. The very top. You know? You wanted the highest point? <laughs> I want top. Top business. <laughs> That's the main temple, the one you see as soon as you arrive and where we were. And then there's all this, the temple grounds, full of statues, monuments, and I guess other temples as well. Wow, look at this view from here. You can see Penang all the way there in the back. The name of this temple literally means Heavenly Temple or Temple of Paradise. And here it really feels like you're in a really peaceful place. Everywhere you turn here, you discover something new. Thank you. It is totally free to come here to the temple, but to access certain areas, you have to pay a small fee. Now, for example, we are in the Pagoda area and it's two ringgit. This Pagoda here has three different styles, Chinese in the bottom, Thai in the middle and Burmese at the top. And we can go up there. This 
Prix is a real blast when you come up here. This place is so impressive. Really beautiful. No wonder this place took 40 years to be ready. Look at the size of it. When you come up here, you have even a better idea of how big all this complex is. That's where we arrived, all the way down there. Then we walked all this here, all this. What about that? We need to get up there. Oh, it's closed. Is it? No, you can walk. The only part we haven't been is that one up there, all the way to the top. There's a lift to take you up there, and it closes at 5.30. We arrived a little late, and we knew it would be late for that specific place, but we chose to come at this time for one reason. We captured everything. No. No? I don't, I don't capture everything. Why not? What's missing? I'm not that good. Ah. Uh, it's stuck here, and it's underneath this. Who never wears a hat? This is what happens when you do. <laughs> You gotta learn with me. <laughs> now we sit down and wait. It's not like this all year round, but if you come to this temple up to 30 days after Chinese New Year, you get a bonus a night. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go back up there. No, you can't. No, <laughs> both of us do. No. <laughs> come on, stop being lazy. We gotta go up, come on. But that's what I said. No, you said that I'm going and you're staying. <laughs> I'm going. It changes the story. What do you like most? Was it as expected? Yeah, lots of lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. Didn't take long just to make it for life. No, no, no. I think that I might just fall out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fall right now. You know what's so interesting? We already saw all this during the day, and now we're seeing again at night because it is so beautiful and lit like this. It's even more impressive. I can't believe how this place is not jam-packed with tourists. This is the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia, one of the largest in the entire Southeast Asia, and it's also a pilgrimage center for Buddhists from all over Southeast Asia. You know, in fact, there's a group of monks from Thailand who march here once or twice a year. You know, they come all the way from Thailand. Totally worth a visit. If you're not in Penang in February or March, it depends, you know, it depends on the lunar calendar, it varies every year. It is still very worth a visit here during the day at any time. like this video hit this like button down there and if you love it subscribe to the channel so that we can meet again those lights are so powerful so strong that you can see them from various parts of Penang even from our Airbnb oh but I gotta tell you something yesterday we were here filming the temple 
and more parts of the temple were lit, more than what we can see today. And I didn't even realize this when we were there. There were so many lights all over that for me it was fine, it was amazing. The higher parts, the one that we didn't see, was also lit yesterday. Luckily, we also have the beautiful images of the whole temple full of lights, and I'm putting them right here to close this video. Enjoy! <laughs> Look at how sweaty I am from the backpack. <laughs> it's actually 7 p.m. now, and I'm still all this sweaty. Doesn't it feel like Christmas? It's too hot. <laughs> but this is how Christmas is in the Southern Hemisphere. Getting to feel like Christmas. Yeah.